me, that is mostly when I when it doesn't go well. Like I said, you can't try more, but you can try less. That might work. So a lot of times, well, that worked right exactly. there. Yeah. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. This week has been amazing. I've been working with PGA Tour Pro Michael Lundberg all week. This is just incredible. And I haven't had any time to make videos. So I just want to twist something up real quick. Man, this week has been just absolutely amazing. Yesterday, I teed it up with three guys who've played tour events. Good swing there. That's right down the middle. We played, uh, Michael Lundberg and I took on uh, John Levitt and Mason Mallory. <laughs> we had an epic battle. I will be making a video about that soon. But I'll tell you what, tomorrow is the MSC Intensive and people are already flying in town. It's going to be amazing. There is still some room left. If you'd like to contact me, Christo, at MySwingEvolution.com, you should come out tomorrow and spend a full day with me in Lundberg. It will change the way you think about the game of golf. Hey, guys. Christo Garcia out here at Eaton Canyon on a perfect golfing day. It's 64 degrees with Michael Lundberg. How you doing today? Very good. <laughs> all right. He came all the way from Europe. So uh, we're going to be practicing today and having a great time. I would love to be able to strike the ball further, longer, but the way the game has developed now, it's a, it's a different thing than it was before. So it's more and more important to be able to hit it far and straight. The, uh, the funny thing is, I think that I'm a big believer in, in getting the engine to work properly. Yeah. yeah. And if, it, if it's firing well, then, you know, problems that you can make subtle adjustments with your grip and stance. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. That looks like it's going miles. Yeah, but still only 111. That, that 160, you can hear it. Wow, that one was even. I won't see that. No, I can call it. One fifty eight. One sixty. So it looks like you picked up five miles an hour going lower left. That's right. To me, it's very strange, but interesting. <laughs> I was so badly struck as well. But I can miss it well. Yeah, you might want to catch your breath. He just did a big round of those one hand swings. I think I need a little break there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's cool that that uh, definitely wakes up a deeper or fast twitch kind of, uh, I don't know, I just feel it differently when I'm... In Jets, it's a pretty wider arc to me. What made me go is like, as soon as you get to here, it seems like I want to get it as narrow as possible. <laughs> and it's like a kind of feeder skater. When they're going to start, the exactly. closer you get, and you go, me, it doesn't make sense. Why does she go? But then again, you can't argue with that result. Yeah, well, it's a combination of both. But I guess there's may, the, maybe the width of the circle and yeah. Well, when I'm when I'm doing a pirouette, for example, if I want to, like, if I if I want to just do a little pirouette, a little small, yeah, like that. But if I want to, get, yeah, you start there and then you go. Here. Yeah and then pull yeah. it all in. So I think it's but the I mix the of those thing. two things. Why? To, to narrow, yeah. that will probably get it. And then, of course, then because of the speed, the, the extension is going to come there after. Because mm -hmm. you can't just keep it Well, I feel like Hogan threw his arm, got blown off. Yeah. Like they're coming in, bang, and then his arm gets yeah. kind of yeah. thrown off. It's interesting how, how much more left 
the feeling is that he go, let's go faster. He go, yeah, but that, that boat goes over there. Right. But when you try and go, no, it doesn't. Even though it might not be the best, but I might do it pretty much a little bit every day to just to see, just to learn how to do, and then. Again, I don't think it's a bad thing to. I pull it out randomly now just to see what I'm doing. And... Anyone can learn to hit the ball farther. Who doesn't love to hit a ball well over 300 yards? Doesn't it feel great when you just crush a drive and everybody's mouth is hanging open while the ball sails away into the distance? Everybody can learn to hit the ball farther, and if you hit the ball farther, you'll play the game better and you'll have a lot more fun. Hit them long and hit them straight. <laughs>